Wade Wheatley for five years. I'm here with top super middleweight, now middleweight, Jake Carr. How are you, Jake? Yeah, very good, thanks, mate. Good on you, Jake. Uh, you've been up here in uh, Sydney, mate, from Melbourne. You've come up to spar with Bilal Akaway. Yep. How's the sparring going with Bilal Akaway? It's been really good, mate. This is uh, our second week up here. Um, Bilal is looking very sharp. He's very fit and yeah. strong, so he's, he's looking good into his spot on the 24th of Feb. Um, we're just starting our campaign, so it was like, you know, you couldn't really start start a uh, fight camp off in any other spot than in, yeah. the, in the boxing room, sparring with Bilal, so That's right, really that's good. tough work out, mate. Yep. Um, you've got a fight coming up? March 16. March yep, 16. Down in Melbourne on Brian Arm Recruiter's Big Time Boxing Show, so we're uh, working hard towards that. Beautiful. Mate, now you've... Um, You've had plenty. Of, you've had. You've got a 16 and one record. Yep. Six KOs, mate. You've um, you've had a lot of experience, mate. You've been overseas. You've, you've trained with Justin Fortune yep. for 12 months over there. Was it? Yep, around about. Around about just over 12 months. Yeah, yeah. You had trouble getting a, a visa to fight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you eventually did. You fought a guy called Grabonski, yep. a well rated yep. fighter. Yeah. Uh, tell me about that fight. Yeah, that was a. Uh a difficult night, um, you know, I hadn't fought for over a year at that point, um, which was very, very frustrating, um, you know, all credit to, to Gavonsky, um, but you know, he was coming off six fights, I think, in the previous year, so he was very active, he was, um, he was fit, he was, you know, ring, ring fitness was, yeah. uh, was a big part of that yeah. fight, um, I, was, I was fit, uh, you know, I trained hard, but on the, fight fitness. on the on the night on the fight fitness it just wasn't there. I started off the fight very well, um, and then it started to slow down, and that's where he uh, he picked it up. And it was a good competitive fight, um, yeah. but you know it didn't go my way, and uh, right. you move on. Yeah, of course, mate. Yeah, and you've uh, recorded six wins since coming back from America. Yep, uh, five wins. So, five wins. Uh, yeah, I, I came back from the states um, and started working with. With Dave Hedgecock and Boxer John. Um, You've got a great team behind you now, mate. Oh, yeah, mate. You know, it's... Uh, Number one trainer in Australia, Dave Hedgecock. Yeah, yeah. If not the world. Yeah. My word. Yeah, that's right. Took Sam that, Solomon mate. all the way to a world title. He did, mate, And yeah. he feels he can do the same with you. Yeah, well, let's hope, uh, let's hope uh, him, him and Johnny can... Yeah, can Boxer work, John. Work, ...work well together and, you know, I can... Well, I, I have been learning a lot and changing my style and... Pick it up on what I need to pick up, and you know, let's hope it all uh, all comes into practice. And How old are you now, Joe? I've just had my 27th birthday. Okay, and yep. you're the son of uh, the great uh, Rod Carr. Yep. yep. Rod Carr is one of our uh, great super middleweights from the past. Yep. Uh, mate, I was there ringside working as a judge the night you fought Ronald Quinlan. Yep. It went on the knockout Daniel Girl and win the IBA title. Yep. Also went 10 rounds with Eubank, yep. Chris Eubank Jr. Um, Tell me about that fight with Ronald Quinlan. Yeah, that was a it was a good fight. Um, yeah, were you expecting him to give you such a tough fight? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you'd you, seen him fight previously. Yeah, I'd seen I'd seen his fights. Um, yeah. uh, I, I expected the fight that, that we got. Um, he's clever. Yeah, he's clever. He's quick, and you know, so it was it was a good fight. Yeah. Um, you know, but, where would you rate him amongst the opponents you've had? Where do you rate him? Uh, same level as uh, Gravonsky? Uh, just... Yeah, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard for me to compare fights with that one because yeah. uh, because of my ring fitness and so, you know, on the night... You're in shape for that fight. That's right. On, on, on the night against Gravonsky, I, I wasn't as good as what I was yeah. on the night against Reddick. Because you've been in that for over a year. That's right, and it's yeah. very hard. Yeah. Um, okay, mate, so uh, what day does your fight again? March 16th. Okay. All well, the best of luck on March the 16th. Thank you, mate. Jake, and we'll catch up with you soon, mate. Absolutely. Sounds good. Best of luck. Thank you.